Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Splatoon 2. And it's time once again for another Squid Sister story as Chapter 5 has just been released. So let's dig right in. Marie was packing clothes into her suitcase. She was getting ready for a trip home to Calamari County. The trip had come about somewhat suddenly thanks to finding herself with a rare three days off in a row. Rehearsals for her new show were scheduled to start after this and she knew she wouldn't have time off again for a while. Her manager suggested some R&R would do her good and sent her on her way. Marie had invited Callie to join her, but Callie had an appointment she couldn't miss that day. So Marie decided to head out right away by herself so as not to waste her short vacation. Callie saw her off at the station, promising to catch up with Marie the following day. The train to Calamari County takes three and a half hours from Inkopolis, not an epic journey in the grand scheme of things. Still, without Callie by her side, Marie felt lonely and the minutes ticked by interminably. Marie hadn't been home in quite some time and her parents were overjoyed to see her. They sat on the porch together basking in the sun and whiling the day away as Marie told them all about her latest exploits in Inkopolis. She was reminded just how much she loved the place where she'd grown up. Compared to the hustle and bustle of the city, there might not be much happening, but the flow of time felt different here. It felt right. Marie took in a deep breath of fresh air, exhaled, and felt her worries and cares float away. From time to time as she spoke, Marie's parents interjected with questions about Callie. Each time Marie replied that, yes, of course, Callie was doing fine. But with each question she winced inwardly as if pricked by an unseen needle. We're both just really busy with her own things, you know? As she struggled to answer her parents' questions in an upbeat fashion, she was struck by the realization that she really didn't know how Callie was doing at all. But Callie would be coming the next day, she reminded herself, and one look at her face would quickly dispel these nagging feelings of guilt. Marie went to bed and waited for morning to arrive. Once again, we're left with a very interesting chapter that sort of gives us an idea about the melancholy that Marie is feeling right now. That she still has these lingering feelings of guilt, especially since the two of them haven't been able to hang out that much at all. And even the trip there was just sort of lonely for her. But being home seems to be doing her good. At least she's able to relax more than she thought she would. And this is kind of noteworthy because that little bit that we saw of Marie in the trailer showed her, well, someplace that didn't seem to be Inkopolis at all. So maybe that spot from the trailer is her at home and maybe she decides in the end of all this to just call it quits. Go back home and enjoy a quiet life in the country. Now that's not to say that that will be the case at all, but there does seem to be hints in that direction. Now what will happen when Callie shows up? Well, we'll just have to wait and see and hope that Chapter 6 provides the details. But what do you guys think about this latest chapter of the Squid Sisters stories? Let us know in the comments and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Splatoon and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.